Every new year there's always a plethora of upcoming titles trying to get our attention and 2024 is no different. In this video we take a look at titles we think will be particularly interesting not only to us but to the wider community as well. This is by no means an exhaustive list but rather some of the more exciting and intriguing options we consider likely to be day one purchases and titles our channel will be reporting on throughout the year. So first out the gate then if you enjoy hauling freight in Elite Dangerous and also the chilled out cruising gameplay of titles like Euro or American Truck Simulator then our first stop today could be of interest to you. Star Trucker is a fairly simple but no less intriguing pitch. It's essentially American Truck Simulator but you're in space. The game has you flying a very cool looking retro futuristic style big rig truck that, just like its more terrestrial bound counterparts, requires you to reverse onto a trailer before hauling it to a destination and then getting paid for doing so. The game will feature highways and road networks suspended in a variety of different space environments buzzing with hauling space big rigs just like yours. The different environments are linked via warp jump generating gates to speed travel between systems where you'll find a variety of depots and space stations that you'll need to drop off your precious cargo. The game also offers opportunity for running smaller side missions at the same time as your main hauling gig and there's also opportunities to run contraband. Unlike some of the other similar truck sims the gameplay doesn't just tie you to the seat of your star truck however. Refueling mid journey for example will require a space walk outside the truck and you can even move about inside the spacious interior of your rig to access components and cargo. With the acquisition of cash from successful jobs comes the opportunity to upgrade and improve your trucks systems which in turn will grant you access to different and potentially dangerous new space environments. The whole game plays out to a selection of original blues, rock and americana music and song played over the rigs in cab hi-fi. As at the time of recording the game will be controlled by keyboard and mouse but the developers have said that HOTAS support is a priority. Unlike its terrestrial counterparts Star Trucker is an entirely single player experience and there are no plans for early access. It'll be going to a full release sometime in 2024. I'm not normally terribly drawn to single player games but there is something about Star Trucker's chilled vibes, retro future stylizing and Americana soundtrack coupled with different beautiful environments that really drew our attention. We're looking forward to sampling it later this year. Next onto the first of two survival games that have made our list let's talk about Nightingale. Using Unreal Engine 5 Nightingale is a single player or cooperative with 5 other players open world survival game set in an unlimited multiverse of procedurally generated environments that are accessed via a series of stargate like realm portals. Its setting and art style is described by its developers Canada based Inflection Games as a gas lamp fantasy world. Think of it as a pseudo Victorian England magical steampunk vibe. Playing Nightingale you will build a homestead and craft weapons and items to survive while scavenging from the world around you. So far so survival game. The twist with Nightingale comes when you craft magical style tarot cards that can be combined in the interface of a gate like portal. When the cards are inserted and the gate activated it opens the portal to a procedural one of a kind realm in the multiverse generated by that specific combination of cards. All the time the gate is open and you're in the world you opened a portal to it remains persistent. When you leave and the portal closes it's gone forever and the same combination of cards will just open a portal to another similar realm with the same features but not the one you first entered. Changing the combination of cards used will generate different biomes, environments, creatures and resources as well as deciding how dangerous or what type of threats you'll face as you venture through that world. New realm cards can be created from gathered resources and different realms will yield different resources allowing you to craft different cards and so it goes on. The developers are promising all kinds of Eldritch styles horrors and twisted beasts as well as colossal apex creatures and you'll use firearms, ranged and melee weapons as you venture across swamps, 
deserts, forests and more in varying weather conditions to defend yourself. The game is planning to go into early access release on Steam in late February. The co-op survival genre is quite a crowded market these days but Nightingale's beautiful steampunk style and unusual use of procedural generation really piqued our interest. It also has an oddly retro Stargate feel to it that really appealed. I can see cooperative group exploration of a newly opened environment becoming a very cool mainstay of the game upon launch. While we're talking cooperative survival games let's talk about our other watch list title in that genre Lost Skies. Whilst Lost Skies also has you solo or cooperatively scavenging and surviving whilst crafting a home base the twist for this game is that the base you build and maintain is a kind of flying ship adrift amongst the floating islands of a shattered world. You and your crew of friends can navigate and loot the many islands all the while fighting monsters and natural phenomena and investigating the ruins of a long gone civilization in an attempt to piece together the mystery of just what happened to the world. When navigating on foot the player has access to a grapple hook to help facilitate movement and exploration to any more inaccessible places leading to some movement gameplay that rings with a Spider-Man-esque vibe. The game is being developed by London based Bossa Games, the innovators behind titles such as Surgeon Simulator and I Am Bread and whilst it's still in very early stages of development it shares some creative DNA with one of their previous titles, Worlds Adrift. The game will feature cooperative PvE gameplay for 1-6 players and whilst a release window is still unknown the developers are hosting open development testing sessions for certain aspects of the game already that anyone over the age of 18 can sign up for. As is the case with a couple of games on the list we can't be sure whether Lost Skies will see a more general release in the coming year but we will be tracking it closely and when we know we'll report it on this very channel. The concept of building and upgrading your own skyship really appealed to us coupled with the Spider-Man like grapple hook movement mechanics and again exploration is almost certainly going to be a huge part of the Lost Skies experience. At this point I want to give an honourable mention to two titles that we've featured on this channel before and will continue to do so as they receive updates in 2024. The first is Starship Simulator. You'll find a link to our first look at Starship on screen now but for the uninitiated Starship Simulator is a cooperative nuts and bolts simulation of a Star Trek style spaceship set in a 1 to 1 scale procedurally generated version of the Milky Way galaxy. Players will be able to take on the role of captain or any of the bridge crew from navigation and helm control to tactical or even work in the bowels of the ship nursing the reactor and warp drive or eventually even take the role of a science officer as the multiplayer crew explores the galaxy. It's a hugely ambitious title but it's already in early access and free to download and try in a basic form on Steam now. The plan is for the game to hit Kickstarter sometime in 2024 to fund future development and we'll be watching closely as this exciting year for the game begins. Next up Nuclear Option. Again our first look at this excellent accessible combat flight simulator is on screen now. Set in a fictional near future conflict Nuclear Option is our favoured pick up and play multiplayer combat flight sim. The game already in early access features attack helicopters, fast jets and strategic bombers and is being constantly updated with new units to both fly and fight. And as the name implies you can also drop nuclear weapons. We're certain it's going to be an important breakthrough year for nuclear option and we're super excited to see what lies in store for this already hugely entertaining indie title. Time for the second spaceship game from our list still in early development but hoping for a release into early access in late 2024 the current working title is Hyperspace. Like Star Trucker, Hyperspace is a really simple pitch. The developers, Keepsake Games, have stated they're aiming for a Sea of Thieves style game but in space. Unlike Sea of Thieves however, Hyperspace is aiming to be an entirely PvE experience. 
As it's still in early development there isn't a huge amount of detail available for hyperspace yet but the general game plan appears to be that after accepting a mission you and a crew of 3 other players will trek off across the stars to a given destination to perform some kind of task. Along the way you'll be flying the ship, fighting fires, optimising energy flows, manning turrets and dodging asteroids and solar flares. In development gameplay so far has shown a full ship interior, players fighting fires, seamless interior to exterior EVA featuring a grapple hook as well as combat with NPC space pirates. As I said at the start of this segment it's really early days for hyperspace but the gameplay shown so far looks to be huge fun and the premise alone of Sea of Thieves in Space definitely has us intrigued. The developers of No Man's Sky Hello Games surprised most of the planet in early December 2023 when they dropped a title and trailer for their next hugely ambitious game at the Game Awards in Los Angeles. They're describing Light No Fire as a quote a game about adventure, building, survival and exploration together set on a fantasy planet the size of Earth end quote whilst also promising the depth of a role playing game and the freedom of a survival sandbox. It's been 7 years since the controversial launch of No Man's Sky but the recovery that game made from its initial appalling state at launch has become the stuff of legend. Since those early painful days the game has had over 30 major content releases as well as numerous patches and smaller content updates and for 5 of the last 7 years Hello Games has apparently been working on Light No Fire quietly in the background. Hello Games frontman Sean Murray has, as perhaps you might expect, been making some fairly bold claims about the company's plans for Light No Fire including endless vistas, oceans and indeed whole continents to explore all on a single earth sized fantasy role playing style multiplayer planet. We've obviously seen Hello Games make some bold claims before which they did eventually back up with an actual solid game and it's hard to believe that they won't have learnt some hard lessons from going through that particular debacle and coming out the other side triumphant. The gameplay footage shown so far features players riding on mounts both earthbound and winged, swimming the ocean depths, building in the open world, towering mountings and giant ancient looking statues. How all this equates to actual gameplay we're very intrigued to find out. We're expecting it to be a largely choose your own adventure style high fantasy sandbox and that is definitely no bad thing. Light No Fire hasn't announced a release window yet but we think it probably won't be any time in 2024 but we'll be keeping an eye on it and reporting on its progress here going forward. What one of these games are you most looking forward to in 2024 or is there another game you think we might have missed? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe so YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything we've talked about in this video you'll find linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.